Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, The Ninth Cup, where all of my readings focus on your soul's destiny and everything you can do to embody your soul's purpose. This is going to be a Midhaven reading for the sign of Capricorn. If your Midhaven is in Capricorn, this reading is for you. It is general, so just take what resonates and leave the rest. I'm pulling um, some oracles from my astrology reading oracle deck and my um, Emily Aaron's Angels in Your Biz oracle deck. I'm just going to get some general energies for where you are right now, Capricorn, as it relates to your career, your professional life, your reputation. All right. So um, and then I'm going to get a three card spread with tarot using opportunities, challenges and outcome. All right. So those are the three components of our three card spread. So let's get a few oracles, Capricorn. And I am a fellow Capricorn Midhaven. So this is my reading as well. Let's see. What we have responsibility. I am not a victim and it's number 11. That's like soulmate, energy, balance, okay? Um, that Libra energy from the, from the tarot, the major arcana is the number 11, which is the justice card. So, power. You're the expert, it's so number 34, which is a seven, three and four, reduced to seven. This is beautiful. So this is really definitely stepping into your power, evolving. And we have launch. Now is the time. Number 20. It's a God number. Numbers with a zero next to them is supposed to have that God influence, that blessings, abundance. So definitely being able to manifest something very quickly at this point in time. Um, with launch, now is the time. I think you're poised. You're ready. Um, you know, you're in your power. You are the expert. Maybe some of you don't believe that, but you um, do know a lot about a, t a particular subject matter, or you know a lot. Um, you know where you worked for a while, really ready to go into the next level. Maybe be promoted. Um, with responsibility, is like you are not a victim. So if anything hasn't um, worked out in your favor in the past, like just know that that's what's kind of put you in power, right? That's that experience has made you more wise. It's kind of um, you know, made you more, um, that's the word I'm looking for, more wise, you know, more resilient. All right, let's see what the astrology cards say, though, like this. Um, Libra, this card has come out a couple of times in the other readings. I just got it for Sag, so balance, though, clarity, truth. And like I was saying, Libra rules the justice card in the tarot, which is a number 11, and the 11 is in the responsibility. So that definitely, um, 12th house. This also came out in the Sag reading. I'm shuffling, I swear. <laughs> I shuffled these a couple times, actually. Um, now what do we have? And Pluto. All right. Funny, the um, Sag got Libra, 12th house, and um, Scorpio, which is ruled by Pluto. So some of you could have strong Sag placements, right? Um, bottom of this deck we have seventh house which is the house of libra strong sad or strong libra could be in your charts because this is just a midhaven reading all right so we have libra pluto and 12th house so there's some deep healing here um or just deep like reprogramming your mind or subconscious some of you could be doing like um you know meditations affirmations you could be doing um hypnosis things like that um to really get your mind right um pluto energy you know it's endings and beginnings death rebirth but it's also deep transformations and 12 houses our subconscious mind also illusions illusions um feeling like feeling like you know what you want but you just don't know how to grasp it you know with that pluto 12th house it's almost like you know things aren't clear it's very shadowy it's very beneath the surface but I'm getting that many of you have taken responsibility for that, right? For anything that you feel like you need to, you know, do more work on, you know, that it could be a lot of different things, you guys, you know, this could be childhood stuff. This could be stuff from earlier in your career. This could be, you know, failed relationships with that Libra energy, Libra ruling the seventh house, the house of partnerships and commitments, and just really, you know, being able to kind of, you know, cut any cords, resolve those things, heal from those things, transmute that, um, those, uh, difficult energies. So this is beautiful. <clears throat> really stepping into like a new and you know with launch this is not just like launching a product or service i'm getting that this is for you guys like literally like you launching into a new version of yourself launching into a new belief system about yourself yourself your capabilities what you have to offer um your wins your successes things to really be proud of things to like hype yourself up over um okay so let's get your and actually i'm going to use a different deck sorry <laughs> going to use um, a deck by Soulful Revolution. It's her deck that she's created. Alright. So 
So for opportunities, Capricorn, we have the Five of Wands. Yeah, so there's an opportunity maybe to compete, an opportunity to kind of up level and show yourself off, you know, five of wands, some people say it's, you know, fighting and conflict, it can be, but in this case, I think this is like an opportunity for you to really, um, you know, maybe it's like you're submitting something, submitting a proposal or, you know, doing some kind of contest or something like that, where it's like, you are competing, but it's not like, it's not in a negative way. It's like, a you're trying to maybe look, win an opportunity or be chosen for like a spotlight something like that with that five of wands let's see oh and i will get clarifiers with another deck so let's see what's in the challenge position five of cups two fives side by side all right changed 2021 is a five year so in the challenge position is what i was saying about those past experiences that you know were kind of tough that were disappointing um could be career-wise or could be from your personal life you know childhood or just you know relationships ending you know like kind of taking a while to kind of get over the cups that have spilled over but look two cups behind this person are filled up and that's where your power is okay that's where the transformation is so this is really about pivoting changing your perspective which i think many of you are okay with that 12 house coming up with pluto energy really like just again putting an end to you know patterns um you know, like limiting beliefs what's the outcome energy for capricorn the high priestess okay the outcome is the high priestess which is you know she's the keeper of the secrets she is above all the king all the queens right above the empress obviously but this is coming out right under launch in 12th house so this is where i was getting the manifestations some of you really can manifest very very quickly at this point in time um you know be mindful of course um be intentional but with the outcome energy being high priestess it's almost like you kind of have like the world is your oyster that's the kind of energy i'm getting with that bottom of the deck we have the judgment card so that's like again in alignment with that pluto energy is letting go of the things that have not worked out well maybe some things might be coming back up to the surface maybe revisiting like old situations um this could be someone from like your work, like literally someone you used to work with coming back in, you know, into communication with you or reaching out to you about something. And, you know, this is you having the, now the opportunity to stand in your power. Um, and five of wands with that being in the opportunities position and then the bottom of the deck having judgment, maybe that's what this um, five of wands energy will be about. Something from the past coming up and you have the opportunity to do it differently now. All right. Differently. Um, totally you know, in a more high value, high powered way, right? But it's a challenge, five of cups here, because you're kind of thinking of how it went before. I hope that makes sense. All right, let's get some clarifiers uh, for each one. I'm gonna get a clarifier for each one, opportunities, challenges, and outcome. Yeah, opportunity, 10 of wands. Finally letting go, right? Tens are completions, culminations, and 10 of wands is a burden. So when this, person or opportunity or something comes back from the past this five of wands energy is like you now can kind of assert yourself right it's coming out with a responsibility you're not a victim you can kind of assert yourself and put an end to maybe selling yourself short putting an end to letting people kind of swindle you putting an end to um you know not talking yourself up like you know just allowing other people to kind of tell you what's best for you when you know damn well what's best for you all right, really stepping into your power here, Capricorn. All right, let's see what is the clarifier for this Five of Cups. Six of Swords. Moving away, yeah. You know, it's a challenge maybe because for so long, maybe some of you have identified with your public persona and this is a chance to change it, to overhaul that. Pluto energy, right? Transformations, evolution, and move on to something that allows you to be more in your power, that allows you to be more... Um, of significance and to be, um, you know, very like pivotal or like important in your endeavors and you're not overshadowed. Um, let's see what the clarifier is for this high priestess in the outcome position. The king of swords. I'm going to get one more.
Queen of Pentacles, King and Queen here. All right, two different suits, but King and Queen. All right, so the High Priestess is clarified by the King of Swords and the King of Pentacles, and this is in your outcome energy. So outcome is you being basically your own boss, I think. <laughs> you know, with this launch coming in here um, and power here and your outcome being High Priestess, King of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, this could be two different things, you guys. This could be like... You already have a career that you're in and it's okay, it's fit, it's working out. Maybe you are like moving on to a different mindset. You're doing things differently, showing up differently. But this is also something like launching kind of outside of that too. You know, I, it's twofold. I mean, you could be like launching literally like your, um, like how you identify yourself. Like how do you, like what do you call yourself? Like what do you do for a living? You know, sometimes we call ourselves the name of the job that we have and this is like you kind of branding yourself if that makes sense like branding who you are as an individual versus like the job title you have um with this king of swords and queen of pentacles you know and i get the queen of pentacles because this is probably the energy of like um like your day-to-day -day job like your your um, bread and butter your paycheck but this king of swords is like the other thing it's like you speaking your truth right you kind of saying like what it is that you're here to do um like what you're good at what you have to offer people and just really believing in your own gifts too and this is where the manifestation comes in as well this is where you know source is going to help you reveal what that is high priestess energy 12th house energy that piscean energy very spiritual very intuitive very psychic even and pluto ruler of Scorpio, also highly intuitive energy as well. So this could be something where, you know, you're kind of stepping maybe more into spiritual gifts or more into a spiritual um, way of being, you know, your ideal ideologies, your ideals um, that could be coming uh, forward more. You know, you're really expressing that to people more and more. So this is beautiful energy, Capricorn. I love it. Angel answers. Abundance is our first card out. Oops. Another one flipped, which is opportunity. Abundance, opportunity. And don't stop. There you have it, Cap. Great energy. Beautiful, transformative energy. You know, this is like kind of Phoenix rising. Definitely stepping into your own. This is like huge maturation energy. Um, you know, and it's really like mature you know maturing in a way that's like true to you you know there's like growing up and then there's like kind of stepping into who you really are and i think it's that you're really stepping into you know who you know you're meant to be and like what you're meant to do how who you're meant to serve and not really being ashamed of that anymore not cowering down not um you know playing it small so i really like this all right, so I'm going to leave it there. I hope that something here resonates. If it does, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, I have my links below to my website, Ribbon. Um, I'm not doing extendeds for the Midhaven readings, but there are extendeds over on Ribbon for the North Node, Chiron, and Mercury readings if you're interested in those. And um, I think that's it. So I'm going to leave it here. You guys, I love you so much. I hope to see you in the next reading and be sure to thrive. Bye.